Have you spent your channel points emotes? Put channel points on this emote now? Like, what? It's very strange. It's very, very strange, friend. Also, we're, uh, we're live. Uh, live from New York. It's, uh, was it like Tuesday? Midnight? Uh, this is the re recording has started. YouTube is listening now. It's weird, though, because, like, YouTube might, like, what if this one doesn't make it? You ever think about that? I think about this every time. I'm like, th this might get canned. At least I'm talking to you. But there have been a few times where, like, I'll start a recording and I'll do the intro. And then, like, last night I did this. I got up and I went and I got some water and I sat back down and I deleted the old recording. And I was like, man, it was just 30 seconds where I spoke to absolutely nobody. And like I, just, I just sat in front of my computer screen, speaking, and nobody will ever hear that. That's weird. Pushback Talos, Darkness Arcus, Diligent Seraph, Restoration Detonation, Making of a Morsel Invigorating Solution. Want to play a Plink deck or a Claw deck? What do you mean by a Plink deck? I think the answer to this question is always a Claw deck. Nobody all the time? I guess that's fair. Patreon and dump all those files on there. You think I have the hard drive space to keep those files, friend? I don't have hard drive space to keep this recording. I should check that. Ah. How's my hard drive looking? Ah, yeah, we got 60 gigs. Don't tell nobody that's you for all the hours you stream? Unlucky. You don't have to cell phone link that, though. Someone's listening. Maybe. I guess at the end of the day, you're listening, if nothing else. I'm, I'm sitting on this for so long because Priory's Cloak is absolutely worthless, but like... Commemorative Spike, though? Later, you're gonna go do secret legal things for a bit. Good luck, Cranberry. I, uh... I hope that you don't get arrested. I'm gonna pick Commemorative Spike because I think it's okay. Effective channel heart. First lines is very good. Forever Flame is. Hmm. It'd be weird if you got arrested for illegal things. Yeah, it would be weird. Just, just offering you some friendly advice. Just hoping for it. You know, wishful thinking. We're not in a combo that needs Forever Flame much. We're not gonna have an endless unit, most likely, so we're not like everything costs one except for Shadow Siege. I'm like, but Alloy, but I'm probably not playing that. So, I'll just go Curse Finds. Channel Heart without Stings is scary. It also lets us be really confident here. And then at the same time, uh,. I guess it lets me kill these morsels, which is really good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alright. Mm, I'll give this guy 3 damage shield. I'm basically gonna take extra damage for this move. Oh wait, no, I just put a train surge on. Thanks for you. Martian Girl, did you hunt down the channel that emote is from and then unlock it? Follow them and then unlock the emote with channel points? Is that the process you just went through here to type A works for me? No. Are you lying to me?
You're already following them and had the foul. Okay, okay, okay. So no, you are not lying to me. I, I parsed this turn a few different ways. This unit taking 11 isn't right. I guess it's not right to play it out in a way where I like chump for this train steward or whatever. So like I have to play both of these. It's just not worth it. I'd rather buff up. As long as this apprentice or as long as this disciple foot soldier dies, we're fine. And he does die, so we are fine. Yeah, the vine grasp relic really just saves me from dying here. It's the only reason I would take the trial. The Franker phase Z bug, that makes sense. Never speak ever again. Spires are gonna die. Yeah, that boss in that dungeon is interesting. That dungeon in World of Warcraft sucks. I hate it there. I didn't draw a restoration detonation. Come on. What am I playing? I think I'm play I'm probably not playing Shattered Shell. I don't think this deck scales Shattered Shell enough. I, I don't think this deck sh scales Shattered Shell enough. It's sad, but I feel like our best hope is just hit Morsel Mate or Steel Singer or Overgorger, right? Like, Shattered Shell is going to be pretty doomed. Uh, it's, it's tough. So, I think we grab Glimmer. Face for them? Sure, sure. Vine grasp the shell, defeat it morsels, and then vine grasp it back. Now there's an idea. Let me end this with speed. I think I lean into Umbra banners because if I, I'm looking for any rare unit here. So I lean to Umbra banners when I get the option to because they have the better rares. Oh no. Like this run doesn't feel good, but there's gonna be something here. There has to be something here. There must be a line. That would work right here. We have absolutely no way to buff Shattered Shell. Other than cultivating Sentient, but that's not fast enough. Other than that, it's okay. We're gonna sit on this just a little bit longer. Not take anything right now. I think we're fine. Grasping sentient triggers revenge. That is true. I do not have a rebuttal to that one. You got me. Good place. Sentient and animus, and then if I find grasp, they're all dead. This run might just be, like, we, maybe we want to pivot to spite, potentially? Like, maybe we pivot to spike sentient? Like, a restoration detonation as well could be good. I mean, I'll give it a try if I have nothing better to do. I'm definitely not going to stay on the 
and the Mist of Speed cultivate my Morsels line that we're on right now. Because that seems really bad. Team attack sentence, she's up to 34 now. I mean, she's holding it down. Takes more damage. That unit's actually just a net positive for her, isn't it? Yeah. This is the main reason I took Commemorative Spike. It just kind of wins the early game for us. Plus six, plus six is uh, good. Wildwood sap. There have been shown perils. I get not happy about it though. Twenty-five thousand channel points to replace. I used to have a reward like this, but it got to be. It was like within the first ten minutes, you could replace a channel emote, and it just got to be a nightmare. It was uh, not. Uh, what the hell? You can play this game with keyboard. Immortal trade, pick a mortal trade? I mean, usually, yeah, but our units are three health. Like, maybe on Sentia, that's fine. Isn't it the one chain per stream? It was one chain per stream. The wrong rare unit. I'll try it. So I have quick on him already. I don't. I, I think in this run, two multi strike is more important because the scaling plane is entirely in cultivate, and our cultivate is slow. Flex on him with the minus 20k. Yeah. I'll say Morsel Master Infusion is actually good. It's just Morsel Master on a different unit. Yeah. I mean, if you run once Morsel Master, you can use the infusion. So, Shattered Shell is going to be our plan in the long term, but we don't want to think about the long term right now, because thinking about the long term is going to get me killed in the short term right now to Talos. So I think I want to put Large Stone on Animus of Speed here. And then she just kind of handles half of the combat for me. I guess the problem is that this doesn't really have... Like, this is... I can't put it behind the Sentient, so I end up just... Doing what? I don't know. Morsel Master, Shattered Shell, we're scaling our... Mm. Okay, I actually don't really like this the more that I think about it. I'm gonna do something like this, then. I have a lot of money, so I should spend it to not die. Like, dying here feels really bad. Playing modded Tethys feels good, my god. Tethys, and you don't just roll your eyes? Wow. Dante kills me. There's no world where I accept this. But there is a world I could just... This, accepting Dante is the same as top writing this run. I can click Dante, die, and go, man, 
I picked Dante and I died, but then I go, well, I had to pick Dante because I had to keep Twitch chat happy. I'm not uh, feeling it today. I hate the Divine Comedy. I actually have not read the Divine Comedy. Or was it Dante's Inferno? Whatever it is. I haven't read or seen anything about it. What if I don't die? It's like, what if, uh, what if I do? And by what if I do, I mean I do. I do die. Animus holds it down over here. What about the Da Dante code? Friend, are you doing a Da Vinci but with Da Dante? Is that what that is? I should not leave my dress in. Unit life steal is good. Having it stay alive is a strong thing for the run. It helps a lot. Yeah, whatever the sentient gets, the sentient eats. Fine. Are you done taking these? No. Maybe playing Morsels is wrong because they take my Cultivates. It definitely is, actually, as I look at it now. It's definitely just not worth... I just don't bother playing them. Because they're stealing Cultivates. That's just terrible. This clan combo is so cursed. I don't know what to do about it. Complain, I guess. new. I will do the sap. Doing three damage to my own unit is, uh, uh... Yeah, cultivate non morse This is the combo you said is the vote for worst in game. It's, uh, rough. So far, it's not so good. Not loving it. Dude, I, another one for the list of things that is affected by, oh, morsels are just breaking the mechanic, is uh, the trinket that you get from Malika, the endless trinket. That shit specifically has a catch for morsels, because if it didn't, it would just suck. Why am I doing this? This is just a waste. I'm in the same position. I'm in a worse position now. Hmm. The morsels are such a nightmare for this game, it feels like. It's kind of crazy. Oh, those parts are better than this video stadium parts. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather play Tethys than... This. Tethys is bad as a champion, and she's like, in terms of power level, Tethys is very, very bad, but Stygian is still, like, probably best clan in the game. It's close with, like, Melting being pretty strong as well now, but, you know. Darn. 
I was really hoping to not have to play the game. Oh well. Cultivate gives me plus one draw. I think I'm taking energy. Energy draw. Although I think in this run I have to take space and play mid. Oh no, I don't have to take space and play mid. I don't have to, uh. Because it's four, four space in units, it's fine. You just see this run. This run before was a lot better. Remember going from worst clan combo to best is such a glow up. Did you just call Melting Umbra best? Uh, I think it's like. You can make a strong case for mid tier. I want to go right and just hope for Steel Singer. It's better to go left, for sure. It's definitely better to go left for the long term of the run. Like I could just, I could just bank it on the on the low opportunity. Combo in the game tier list. I'm gonna do a tier list of all the cards in the game, probably for 3,000 subs on YouTube. I don't know how many subs I have on YouTube right now. I might have hit that recently. I don't think I did. Last time I checked that, it was like 2,200. Let me look, actually. Real quick, give me a sec. Let me peep it. Ah, 2,700. Wowee. something that I'll do for 3k though. It'll be fun. Yeah, it was like a line where maybe you go gorge. I don't know. This is gonna be rough. Very, very rough. But, I believe. I have zero harvest morsels. Yeah, that was a good time. Double incan guardian stone with a rail hammer. That seems good. Okay, I'm just gonna pass. We're weak into this next combat, but I think it's okay. I don't see this run having the damage to get there, but I might be proven wrong. I still don't have a uh, quick on my unit. I am shattering by a dreadnought. Just be- it's, it's fun to think about, but also when you think about- like, the, the Harvest on Morsels was dumb. Like, uh, don't- it's, it's fun to reminisce about the good times, but uh, Harvest on Morsels was a bad thing. It was definitely a net positive when they killed that. It, everything got a lot better when that got taken out of the game. Every time a heavy went up because you were playing Gorge, like when the, one of those Harvest guys went up because, oh, I'm a Gorge build, I just screamed. Dude, imagine the fucking Harvest wave on the Divinity, but you eat like three morsels and it just ends you. God. That shit was just toxic. That's all there is to it. The game got better when they took that out. Absolutely. Yeah, 58. I can play one more spell. Finger target of reform. Yeah, that was sad. Reforming was better before. And I think that was one that was sad to lose, but, eh, you know. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make, I guess. This is actually a core part of my game plan, and I think it's maybe bad that I lose the ability to do this. 
I'm still triggering Harvest wasn't even driven, you could do it. It was good with exactly Wickless Baron. But he was also really bad because he was like plus two or some shit like that. It's a weird time in the game. I have to leave enemies alive for uh, hits to happen, I think. I need to kill these, though. The Baron is plus one, plus three, so I'm just too rage. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's weird to remember that melting used to be just ridiculously bad. Melting has come a long way. That clan used to be so fucking awful, it's crazy. God, that's... How did I forget? Harvest Rector used to be actually unplayable. Wickless Baron gave 1-3. Wick is a bad idea in this run. Because you have to be taking the hits. But then I'm just not infusing him with anything, and that doesn't feel great. I see what you're saying. Draft is fine. I mean, I think this run is just absolutely lost. I don't feel like there's a whole lot of ways that this run ends up getting there. are the scaling. I mean, the, the problem with the hits are the scaling is what about the first three rounds when you're not scaled? You just expect to die. What's stopping the first three waves of each combat from just ending you in this run? Maybe I'll be loud. What a 55 here. If I'm holding on, then it's like okay to do this. This unit's putting a lot of work in. Hold on to it until we can remove it later. Yeah, Stygian's book is called Unnamed Tome. The only one that's uncommon. The rest are rare. It's interesting that there's so many things that they do for flavor, like Perfect Insanity, and then Stygian Tome is just wrong. Like, Stygian Tome is just actually incorrect. Plus six kills. I used to play a 20 year old MMORPG without uploading to YouTube for 1 million views. Pepe hands. No. And melting is a uh, endless pact, I think. Oh, being wowed. All right, no, that's a good one. A remnant pack, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah.
think the the big winning pickup here is gonna be extreme stone hold over restoration detonation it keeps our sentient alive and it just gets the job done i think that's the winning move and that's what we're looking out for here Nice. The Umbers book is just a rock. I think the Wormkin book is as well, right? Wormkin etchings. It's just a bunch of scribbles. This unit fucking ruins me. This adds 18. Mm -hmm. I just take 24. Wormkin's book, what did I say? I'm pretty sure I said... I thought I said Wormkin's tablet, right? Something like that? Wormkin is the scribble and the rock, and Umbra's the rock itself. It's interesting that they got Dwayne to run this one, you know? Dr. Johnson. You think he's a doctor? You think someone's given him an honorary doctorate? I feel like I'd be surprised if he weren't, actually. Jack has a doctorate. Jack also has released like multiple studio albums, right? Jack's done a lot of things. Mr. Delane, uh, what do you imply? I feel like you're implying something about Shaq by saying, how would Mr. Delane uh, What's the implication you're making about Mr. Shaq? We <laughs> may as well full heal here and get the extra regen. Rock does not have a doctor on your or otherwise. Damn. Who'd have thought? Yeah, maybe he has a rock turret. True. Get fucked, self made harpy. Dude, self made harpy? Absolutely bodied by the sentient. Absolutely no chance. Never even think about me again. Cool. The week is okay, but I think the line really is just go in on restoration detonations. Feels like it has to be the way through here, uh, and everything else is just not gonna pan out right. These aren't good. I'm gonna try the Shattered Shell self-infuse here, I guess. Hopefully Extreme Stone would be good. That's good. So we're gonna have most of what we need, I think. In a Magic Shop or Holdover and we're basically there. Path, body, self, and heartbeat. It, it is weird that the Sentine is a champion with only two paths. I agree. Definitely don't trade Pyre Health here. Like every other character in the game has three paths. It's weird that the Sentine only has two. It's real strange. It's like they removed one in the DLC. I'm done here. I think if we survive this, we can get there, but this fight's gonna be really difficult. should be awarded according to how much you value someone as a celebrity and Dwayne is foremost in your hierarchy of celebrity individuals. 
How does Shaq have a, a doctorate and Dwayne does not? In this essay, I shall prove such that I understand. I get what you're saying, Martian girl. I don't value... Uh, I don't value Shaq all that highly. I also don't value the rock all that highly. I wish I would tell lessons. It's uh, plus five, plus or plus three, plus ten, and it's the, it's the whole unit. It's plus three, plus ten, and Slay like gain three. So this guy is now a six twenty with Slay plus three. Giving six attack here might be wrong. Not sure. So it needs a buff. Explosive needs more health or, uh, yeah, it needs something. More health or more damage. They had to buff its damage in the regular game, if you remember, as well. The card's gone through a lot of buffs, and then the game gets harder and it gets worse. Twenty-six times three. Miss I mean, I went very fast. Oh. You know. It's on me. I should have played Vine Grasp first. Oh, Temper Talisman made my Vine Grasp do more damage. Fuck, I really want to play this up here. Yeah, I guess it's fine. a doctor because he destroyed an NBA black backboard by dunking on it. I didn't believe it. Probably focused on thesis offense. Thesis nuts. TNHG. I shouldn't just mindlessly encamp this unit probably, but Plus six and then plus twelve this is gonna be like fifty-four and then the next two hits do sixty-six each, so it's like 120, 120 is 240. It's like it's a lot. It's dead by a lot. Actually. Giving up free harvest here? I'm gonna only give one. don't have enough healing in this deck. I wonder if that's gonna be the problem. Is that the downfall? My sentient is cultivating herself, which is usually a bad sign. I think I should probably stop purging her. I, we're very dead. Like, we're super, super dead. Where did I get these three vine grasps? Have I just been skipping playing them? I'm not sure. Let me see what our morsels are. Also, what are you doing to me? 29? What are our morsel options here? Sasquatch, good luck on your exam. Sleep well, I believe. Could I put down Morsel Master to eat around? Mm -hmm. 
I do this? If I lose here, I'm just gonna replay because I was not really looking at this combat as much as I should. Uh, never mind, there's no justice. Ridiculous. Just hit. Game's easy. Adaptive mutation kills me. That could be fun. And never punish, dude. Absolutely never punish. Hog wag you. Now that's an emote idea. Give me hold over. That's not hold over. What the heck go? I said uh, consume on restore is fine. I said give me hold over. Fuck! How could this happen to me? Game is a coward. No sin is right. I should have also double stacked the wild wood sap. I was just busy being mad. That's my mistake. Taking cards to cost zero is fine. I don't want to consume too many restores though. Also, I do want to purge two shades splitter. Now two train stewards here. Certified Twitch emote expert available, preferably with a doctorate. Like Shaq. I don't think so. Vice Gift is probably bad. Mind Jacks makes very little sense here, so I'll take Wing Steel. I think Wing Steel. Over the course of this, uh, over the course of this game's life cycle, this this relic went from broken to pretty good to very okay. I think Wing Steel gets my award for the okayest relic in the game. Big regen. Take a heal. Just add like. Okay, here's the bait that you would type to me, and here's the here's the response, right? And I've fallen for this before, and I thought it was fine. You just take a send, because why not take a send? That's flexibility. And the answer is this actually removes flexibility, because you want to be able to manipulate where you play on the floors. Like you don't, we want to most likely play mid floor on the divinity and maybe there's going to be a combat where we want to play bottom because the early waves are weak. So this is just, this is incorrect to add one of these. Yeah, apply, read it. I, I actually just made a wake. <laughs> All I did at this event was I made a wake and added it to my deck for one cost. I take psychic damage for reading some of these late night chat messages. Nah. I'm alright. Nobody says anything too strange. God, I'm so sick of seeing purifiers. I take mental damage every time I see purifiers. Yeah, why didn't I get charged 15 for the value stone? True. So I'm gonna do this line here. This should be fine. Although damage shield is bad. 
The, the crew on the top floor should catch any excess escapees. Ideally, drew restoration detonation with nothing to spend it on. Sad. Changes nothing. That's good, I guess. Uh, this unit is going to kill me. Haha. <laughs> yeah, he is. It's been fun, but I must go. I do 75 and he has 290. We're very dead. I should have played Restoration Detonation there. I think it makes no difference, but I should have played Restoration Detonation. This run just does not make it. There is no way. This combat fucking destroys me. Absolutely no way. I'll try it again, because like you play it out, but we're gonna die here for sure. So I wanna I wanna try reversing the plays. Maybe this was too big brain. I think we just always die here though. Pretty sure it always pans out this way. I mean, half of my units in this deck are just worthless. It's, uh, rough. I don't want the damage shield. It does feel a little over. Now it feels very over with the Restoration Detonation draw, huh? That seems real bad. Dude, stop showing me Morrisel Jeweler. What are you doing? I don't want that. The path is high roll one. Nice. I'm in, uh... I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm currently existing in a southwestern European country, but you have to take the S out of the country name. And that will give you an understanding of where I am currently. Which country is Eden, but you add an S? <laughs> Witzer. <laughs> you guys are getting pretty close, I think. Erbia. <laughs> you're getting there, you're getting there. In, in no universe are we picking out of here, I don't think, right? Now maybe this guy doesn't kill me. Eh. I have to play this so I don't die, right? Because now this guy doesn't hit me for 30 yet? Why did I just say 30 yet? <sighs> it is panning out about how I expected, where it's just, oh, we've hit the late game and we just have to sack the first three waves. Like, from here we should... Yeah, th this run is not... Like, it, it doesn't make it. It's... It's missing something. The plan was hold over Extreme Stone Restoration Detonation to get out of this, but I did not see hold over. I, just, I don't think Shattered Shell is good in this combo. Like, I just, I don't think that, I, I don't think Cultivating Sentient wins in this combo, actually. Maybe I'll be proven wrong. 
Like, maybe we'll sneak out. Like the old magic buff variant? Yeah, that might have been good too. A plus 10 every now and then could help for sure. A little minus one razor stripe. Yeah, it's like, there's, there's a specific way to go about it, sure. Buff wasn't offered. Maybe it wasn't. I don't remember. Spike stuff. Yeah, I think you I think you either hit Steel Singer, hit Morsel Maid, or you just play uh, Spike Sentient and a Gorge line is probably the best. Yeah, maybe we can just cheat by holding heavies. Maybe I can hold that card over. I don't want to do that, but maybe that is a winning line. Ugh. Maybe you should take Forever Consume there on second thought. On the one hand, I lose if I don't see Pyre Health. On the other hand, I lose if I don't see a Magic Shop. So, it's a good old lose-lose situation here. Where's Holdover? Uh-huh. Buy a Pyre Health drink. That's a good idea. Yeah, dang. I mean, I should probably get rid of these two. Morsel Master and Animus of Speed are doing uh, nothing. Having a unit hitting for quick 30 is sad, is what I would call it. It's very sad. It makes me feel unhappy. Cut Morsel Master for sure. Might hold Animus of Speed just because I need to cut other cards as well. It's Sag, Dagon, it is Big Sag. Welcome back to I hold over and snare and then duplicate it and pray. Welcome back to Prage. Plus 10, I don't think so. I think I need to reroll this, look for double stack. Okay, no double stack. That is okay. We'll do a minus one restoration detonation. We get one more removal. Get out of here, Animus of Speed. Does Diligent kill us? Probably. Up the stamp, but the wind, baby rage. I could like. Freeze a card, it's like removal. Do I ever overdraw in this deck? Two, three, four, five. So yeah, I probably do. <laughs> yeah, actually feeds harvest triggers. They are no, they won't live to see the harvest triggers actually, so it's okay. And this is our winning line. We're diligent. Oh, we're fine on diligent because we have first lines. but I still think she's bad. I can do like, eh, it's probably bad. And Diligent's a joke, he's a haha. -ha. I'll just roll the steel shop so we, or the trinket shop so we can see what we miss. Mm, nothing interesting. She consumes for one. I think that by the time that that matters though, we should be dead. I think I'm pretty sure. I think we can't play bottom floor because I died of this gilded wings. So we have to play mid floor. Which is fine, I guess. It's fine, I guess.
Shade Splitter is not really the top card I was hoping for there. Top 10 cards I was not hoping for there. All 10 of them are Shade Splitter. Perhaps she'll eat Morsel mid floor than Vine Grasp to the back. Why? I don't think the 6-6 six, six, uh, makes a big enough difference. It is worth at least mentioning, but like, plus six is not a lot. Ugh, God. So I think Invigorating Solution loses, because I don't get a Vine Grasp next turn, and I think that matters a lot. I think drawing Vine Grasp is important. Where am I putting this fine grass though? Like, maybe it is just. Yeah, you know what? Actually, sure. Because I don't want to do this anywhere else. You're actually right. And vine grass to the front is better because I don't want plus six on my sentient. I guess. What a world. The jail, mister. We've hit Ensnare, so in a cruel twist of fate, we're gonna survive this combat, I guess. No, maybe not. My Sentient might just die. And we're there now. Kind of. The stack healing as best we can. Oh, you know, I probably can't be taking Vengeful Shard damage, huh? That's like... What is that? That's like 9% of my health or something like that I just lost. And then if this ever happens, we have to Vine Grasp on, on site. Yeah, I really hate this. Maybe I should have just died on floor 7. <laughs> Maybe that should have been where it ended. I think that the biggest flaw that this plan has is the existence of purifier combat on floor 7. This is a, like, this is fine. It's fine to okay once you, once you get your Shattered Shell off the ground, but Purifiers just run you over. That combat hard counters this. It's so ridiculous. Oh, I drew to 10 on accident. Whoops. Thankfully, I didn't get punished, but I could have died for that. card do I get rid of here? Do I have to consume ones? Probably... I mean, realistically, it's Perils. Eh, it's just Shade Splitter. I'm gonna go over and snare. It's a free card. I think it's fine to play. I just have to not go to 10. It's fine to keep it rolling with the Shade Splitter. Or the ensnare, I mean. We are- we're in a position though where like one small misstep and we get dropped. A Seraph just like one wrong move and I get killed by a top four unit. Gotta keep your eyes peeled. I also can just cancel those two units, which is good. Cancel both of those, it's fine. I don't know if this kills Seraph. I think it should, but it's close. I can't ensnare Seraph. Alright. No worries. Not even close.
It's not even close to close. All I have to do is have a flawless uh, divinity combat. And then it's easy. Damage shield just kills me, by the way, if there's damage shield here. Alright, alright. High roll. And yeah, now we just have to draw both in snares. Easy. Yeah, quick, quick also definitely kills this, yeah. It lists this as not ideal, but, you know, nothing ever is in the game of train. I have to not die to this wave. There's one of them. I don't have Cheater's Hand. This is minus one to play, but I think it is right. Like, it's minus one, but it's worth for the regen, I think. Oh, it's not minus one, it's minus six plus one. It's actually not worth. The first one is still fine. And put the grasp up here. I think we should still get run over because our sentient dies because I don't have enough healing now, but yeah, maybe not. Never invigorating solution here. And Kadina, hello, how's it going? Hello, hello. What did I draw 10 that one time? I probably played this card. Invigorating solution. We now have enough damage. Person snaring a harvester. Yeah, we could perma jail one of them. Probably fine. I'm gonna play this. like put this guy in forever jail I think you don't exist anymore young man your existence no longer is you've been hit by cancel culture it's a uh, what is this k-pop stands on Twitter when someone uh, I don't really know what k-pop stands cancel people for but that's the end of the joke Actually, know if I said it, but uh, congrats on wasting 10k, Chun on Maru. How's it feel? Less points to have to deal with in your day to day? Probably feels pretty good. Great joke, you laugh. Thank you. You may now commit laugh. K pop, more like K poop. Dang, I know they're gonna cancel you on Twitter now. Look out, dude. Hashtag Dagon is over party. Yeah, I guess this wins. Unless it dies to that wave that's coming up. <laughs> My very essence is fading away. No, soon I will be nothing. My soul. Okay, I can vine grasp one of these shade wings to the front, and then it will die to the restoration detonation. And then I only have to deal with one, which should be fine. I maintain this heavy and horny jail forever. Yeah, we gotta we can't have both of them go off, right? Because that's like a hundred and twenty. It's like is that ninety? It's ninety, right? 
It is 90. Oh wait, that doesn't work. <laughs> it works this way. Uh, I want to jail another. Excuse me, are you still- how many turns are you rooted for, young man? Two? Okay. I can keep two units that I don't want to have to consider in jail. I think the other harvest is not a problem. I think that the big problems are this unit. And I have two, so I could like- I can stagger this really well if I also just cut this unit out. And we just take all of the teeth off of that wave. Ensnare is such a stupid card. <laughs> what have I done? Why did I draw one too many there? Oh, I see. When I don't play a heal card myself on the Sentient, I overdraw. That's what it is. I get it now. You're in jail for one turn. This unit's a 15 times four. Uh, that's concerning. So, who? So you're you're not out of jail yet. 25 times four. Sorry, what has it? How? How much? Sorry, I can't read the number. How much are you hitting me for? There's absolutely no way for me to find out what he's doing with me. Okay, nothing is going to be left on this floor. On the walk up, I kill the winged conduit. I think I split you and you. On the walk up, you die. And as long as I don't overdraw here. I think we're winning. Just don't look at this. Don't don't look at this. Don't worry about that. You're dead. You're dead to me. Although I get a lot of cultivates out of that if I leave it alive, but you know. Yeah, this wins for sure, but it's real weird. How the heck did this win? Uh, Ensnare. Ensnare won this run. Did he have two spell shields? Why? I rooted him for so long that two. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think that the biggest flaw that you face with this run plan is there's there's a lot of problems here there's there's a whole lot of reasons that this is not good but it can still sneak out a win you guys aren't released from jail just because god dies stay in jail so you need to find two multi-strike on shattered shell that's problem one problem two is you just die to the first two waves of every combat after arcus and that's it. I guess it's just two main problems. Those are pretty big problems, but you have to, as long as you go about getting around them, uh, it's, you get to have a unit that has, also, oh, the third problem is you don't put quick on this guy. And then turn with the axe and die to the scourges. The scourges only do seven. Oh, wait, no, it would do, it would do ten. Never mind, those are fives. I should have, uh, played one and then pressed end turn.
Easy peasy. That's one for the books, for sure. Tried to be too cute on floor seven and play mid floor, and that was a uh, was a losing line. But otherwise, it was uh, it won, and it technically it lost, but it's a it's a me problem. I mean, it did win in the books, right? But I did throw the run due to my. Uh, lack of understanding. But now you know where the flaws are in the run and where it's good. Uh, the flaws are turn one, two, and three, and the good is the rest. Thankfully for the divinity, a lot more is the rest. Alright, goodbye YouTube.